Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Feed the Beast Continuum. Last time we tried to make a dynamo for our ethanol, but ended up with a dynamo, or a whole bunch of dynamos actually, for our creosote oil. Not quite what I intended, but uh, still pretty good. Pretty good indeed. In the process, using up all of our creosote oil, which is potentially not that great, but maybe we'll figure out a way out of that mess eventually. For today though, we're gonna continue going on the actual machines here that we had intended to keep going on last time. This time we'll do it for Reed. We're talking Factorio, and uh, we've done a bunch of these. We need the refinery, which is probably good faster. This is the improved blast furnace. We, we don't have the production of actual iron, so we'll leave that for now. We also need the pump jack. That's an interesting one. Um, so that will probably give us stuff that we could use. But let's focus on the refinery first of all. Uh, we can get biodiesel from that. That would be cool. So, iron sheet metal. 16! Ouch! I guess, though, we have some fluid pipes, but not enough. I don't think we have enough of any of that, actually. Oh, well. Iron sheet metal. 16 of them. I think it's four iron sheets per each. Iron sheet metal, four iron plates per two. Okay, so we need we need only eight of the recipes. I th was it 16? Yeah, 16. So we need eight of the recipes, but we need four per each. So we'll need 32 iron sh iron plates. Ouch! I don't have that much on me. I don't even know. Okay, we only have 16 iron left. Ooh, let me dump some stuff here because we don't need to carry an iron furnace around and stuff. Alright, so I just checked. We only have 20 iron ingots. We don't have enough iron. Which is sad. We are back at that level, but... Uh, what can you do about it? We're gonna have to just wait. And uh, we should get enough iron down the line. But let's try to do the other things first. And one of those things is to make sure that I can actually auto-process silver here. Because apparently that wasn't working. So we'll, we'll deal with that, maybe we'll do the other parts, like the steel and stuff, but I have a feeling those will require even more iron down the line, so... This is on again, so that's fine. Okay, so I made two more drawers, we're gonna put these on top of here if we can somehow. I guess we can bounce on top of it. Ouch, if there wasn't more stuff in the way. <laughs> there we go, ouch again, but fine. We'll put... put the silver in this one. I guess... where did I put the key? Probably put the downstairs. Now it's locked. And I guess this just needs to be on, right? Yes. Just, uh, go. And that should actually... Yeah, that goes immediately out and it sh we should see that coming out here. And this thing is still going strong. Okay, cool. So I'll do a thing. This is now working on bauxite again, so that's awesome. I'm wondering though if that if there was really a problem because this thing before when it got more small piles reset so this is now 20% once that thing up there is done we'll get I think two more small piles and if they go in here and it becomes five or six or whatever it becomes let's see that this doesn't reset okay so the other things we needed for this was a redstone engineering block or more I can't remember but at least one, so we need one of these, that's four more iron. One of these, or a couple of these at least, that's four more iron plus these, which are more iron. And then it's heavy engineering blocks, which are steel, luckily, and electrum steel components and stuff. Okay, so we could make the heavy ones, but it doesn't make that much sense to me to keep going there, because we're completely blocked on iron. Dang. The oil fields are steel scaffoldings, wood frames, steel sheet metal, fluid pipes, steel... And then some of these too. Aha. Uh -huh. So these are complete because they was unlocked and we have made these for other machines. But yeah, we, this one will require too much steel instead. We don't have that much steel left. Ouch. Okay, so we can't do that. So we'll have to do something else. And I think what we'll do is we'll back out of this thing. Oh, not that far. Uh, but we still have the industrial rebirth and we still have this industrial uh, thermal foregoing things. Fluid manipulation is a magma crucible and the fluid transposer. I think we made this. We never made anything else out of it because... Yeah, 
witchcraft, alchemical imbuer, centrifugal separator. I think that it really it kind of would make sense to make a magma crucible. Fluid transporter, not so sure, but the magma crucible would let us make a whole bunch of things. We also have a ton of these to 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 do. The grinder two electric boogaloo one is interesting. Industrial grinder. I again, these are like multi-block things. This this is going to be really 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 expensive in terms of iron too. Ouch. This is the thing I've been thinking about actually. The garden cloches. The garden cloche is a quick and simple way to automate most crops at the cost of water and RF. Yeah, but most ceiling in the top center slot, blah, 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 blah. So we make stuff. This could actually be very interesting. So you need a water, hardened watering can, an advanced machine frame, some steel, some glass, and a vacuum tube, which is... Uh, okay. None of this is impossible. Hmm. Okay. So we do have a bunch of steel. We just, we just have very little iron at the moment. Maybe we should put a lens on that. Tier 2. So we're getting less of it now. Preferred white lens. I guess we put a white lens on this. Alright, this is a clear laser lens and this should make it into a white laser, laser lens. That's good. Let's put the glass back, because I don't want to carry all this junk around. And let's see if we can easily switch the lens on this thing. Probably can't, can we? Is this, this is the clear laser lens, okay. We're going to take you away. And we're going to replace you with a white laser lens. And you're still broken? No, you're fine. I think it's kicked back into action, but let's verify that. Yeah, it's definitely going. Okay, so we should get more iron out of that thing. I have no idea exactly, like, how it, what it affects. Let's see, we're tier 2, so we'll get more iron. We'll get more aluminium. Bauxite, which is also good. <laughs> All right. Well, I don't mind that. I mean, aluminium we're kind of drowning in, but uh, we do need the iron and the bauxite, so why not? Cool. And let's stash the other lens here, because we might need to switch it back at some point. Okay, I found it. I have a watering can hardened. I hope it's not... I hope it's not a problem that it has water in it. <laughs> that should be fine. We need the steel mechanical, mechanical component, though. And I have no idea, I remember these as being expensive, but apparently not. Copper ingot and two steel plates, or copper ingot and two steel plus two more, <laughs> so no thanks. We'll make it this way, I think we have this, I'm pretty sure we have that. Okay, so we need two of these things, so we're gonna have to, oh, I'm, I did it again. Well, now we have lots of steel wires, that's great. I keep doing that. I sh I need to stop doing that. Oh well. Okay, good thing we have more steel. So we need four steel plates, not wires, plates. Good. Because we're going to need two of the mechanical components and there's two plates per each one. Dang it. <laughs> uh, advanced machine frames. I'm pretty sure I have one. Or two, actually. I do. That and glass. So let's again pick up these. And... Can I make it? I can! Awesome! Okay, cool. Not your garden variety. Mm-hmm. So, that gives us a 32 fertilizer. Don't mind if I do. Uh, it doesn't unlock anything, but it's pretty good. Okay, so we made a few more of those. We have 18 now. Should be okay. Um, and I guess this probably is the power input then. Yeah, okay. So we'll dig, it, dig up our garden even more here. Put that like so. And then we need an output. 
I cannot recall which is the input and stuff on this, but let's try and see if this connects. It does not. Okay. Dang it. So, okay. Hold on. So, uh, does this go? Okay. Something happened there. Oh, and we get... Uh, it needs water. Yes. Right. Uh... Oh, wow. Okay, so I found nine iron just hanging about in here, and then another nine. Okay. Well, that's cool, Uh, because I need to make some terracotta. Let's throw some things out, because I need you can just pick them back up, and they end up in the right backpack. There. Much better. But yeah, I need to make some terracotta. We're going to make another sink, because they're so easy, which means we're actually going to have to get some of that iron again. And apparently I have 38 iron here. Cool! Um, yes, right. They were somewhere and they were in the grinder and I forgot about them. Let's throw them in here, because that will just put them into our system. Wow! Oh, you guys are going to have yelled at me so much in the comments about that, aren't you? Typing angry comments, I can hear it all the way here. Okay. Okay. So we have a transfer node for fluids, we have the transfer pipes. This should be good enough to keep building. I also am hungry, and I'm running out of food constantly. Food is just a completely, like, it's always a hassle in these mod packs that have this varied food thing. It's never difficult once you get past the first, like, couple of days, but then it's always annoying. <laughs> so let's put that there. That should put, that puts water into here. Potatoes are going. Fertilizer amount. Growth modifier. How, how does one... Does fertilizer go in, into one of these? No. Uh, does it have a progress? Can I? Can you see something? No. So, nothing is happening. Oh, oh, we need actual dirt in there. That's why the potatoes. Why does it let it go in there though? That's super weird. Okay, well let's take dirt. Does it use up the dirt? Okay, so it took one dirt, now it, it, yeah, it used up a little bit of fertilizer. Where did the fertilizer come from? And how did we get more in there? So we're making potatoes, this is all good. We need a servo on here, hopefully... Servo on here. We Hopefully we can convince this to just take things out of the correct slot, but we'll try just switching this on and seeing what happens. Okay, absolutely nothing happened. I would have expected I would be able to take those out. Okay, so here's a super weird situation we have currently. We have this thing here, but the output only connects to this side. I've been tinkering with this for like forever. Let's turn it again. That did nothing. That turns it. That turns it. Now we should have the connection over here. No. It's on the opposite side, actually. And now I can't get up. So it would be... What? Okay, now it actually connects there. What? Okay, this makes no sense, but whatever. Actually, what we can do is we can just put this... We want it here. So we can just turn this thing until it connects. Now it connected. So I turned the top part without turning the bottom part. Well, visually, I guess. But regardless, it connects, which is all we wanted. And uh, we can do this, hopefully. Switch this on. There, There's 18 in here. Okay, so no. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to try this off camera until it works. And I'm going to try it with just a chest. This thing can keep keep making its things. But we're going to take this chest with its potatoes. And we're just going to put that somewhere here. And we're going to try until we figure out how to connect things. <sighs> okay, so this is here. this is how it works. It needs to be over here. Uh, in on here, this side. And then puts the potatoes in there. So that's that's a good thing. So we'll place this here. 
Uh, that should get power from there. Is this where we connect it? I guess it is. So you know what? I'm actually going to destroy this. And we're going to place it from this side to see if it... Okay, now it connected right away. So hopefully, we can just do this. Oh, turn that on. This doesn't have power right now. Also doesn't have water right now. So we'll need to put, we'll put water down here. Transfer this up here. So now we should have water. And then we just need a couple of these to sort of spin around the side here. If I can place things, which obviously I can. That would mean it has power and everything now. So we just need to put our dirt into here. And I apparently did not pick up the potatoes. So they're here. And the fertilizer. So that's cool. Right. So. One potato goes in. Fertilizer goes in. We have the water. We have the dirt. We have the potato. We have the power. I think. Yeah. Power is slowly going up. So we're feeding it more power than it needs. It's using up fertilizer. Things are growing. But nothing is going in here. Hopefully, because this thing is getting more potatoes. And this thing is, like, out of power constantly. Okay. That was way more complex than it should have been. <laughs> but apparently, we have some form of ethanol production now. Which is basically automatic. Let's cover this back up. Um, the only problem is we've got nothing to do with it. So I guess that'll be our next problem. Uh, refinery makes this plant oil and ethanol into biodiesel. I think maybe we can input ethanol right away. The plant oil comes from the squeezers thing, so if we need to, we'll have to do this too. It's just fine. Because I think we can get seeds pretty decently too. But yeah, okay, so that's the next step. And that will use up a whole ton of iron, but we'll look at that next time, ladies and gentlemen, because this was quite enough. Quite enough. Well, thanks. Thanks for getting back in line. I appreciate this. Yes. Anyway, this has been Feed the Beast Continuum. My name is Slice Time. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye bye.